Dear viewers, welcome to Noorsat Satellite Station and Telenumir TV. On the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, which coincides with the sacred 40 days, Noorsat office in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director Dr. Basim al saman and the team, is pleased to extend greetings to His Majesty King Abdullah II, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein, and all Muslims in Jordan and the world, hoping that it will be returned to everyone with goodness and blessing, and that health, security, and peace will prevail in the whole world. Now let's start with the headlines. Patriarchs and heads of churches in the Holy Land condemn the takeover of the Petra Hotel by extremist groups. A mass of thanksgiving for the blessing of the monastic consecration of the two sisters, Asil Hjazin and Lin Halase. The Christian Education Office in Jerusalem organizes a spiritual exercise for school workers. We also have his Beatitude Patriarch Raphael Sacco inaugurated the Chapel of Our Lady of Peace in Baghdad. Welcome back. On the occasion of the Holy Month and the start of fasting for Muslims brothers, His Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella and all the bishops, priests, monks, and believers of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem, Amman, and Nazareth congratulated all those fasting, wishing them an acceptable time in which there is forgiveness, grace, self-discipline, and the exercise of virtue. The statement pointed out that the fast of Ramadan coincides this year with the great fast of Christians, so supplications and prayers are raised for mosques, churches, and homes, asking for blessings to be poured upon the fasting people, our dear homeland, and all humanity. The patriarchs and heads of Christian churches in the city of Jerusalem announced their rejection of the takeover of the Petra Small Hotel by the extremist settler groups, considering it a threat to the continued existence of the Christian neighborhood in the Holy City, and affirmed in their declaration that this decision will lead to tension and instability in the region, at a time when everyone is trying to calm down and walk towards justice and peace. They also warned against the illegal actions of extremist settlers who followed a pattern of intimidation and violence by occupying the property of the Roman Orthodox Church. Heads of churches made clear that extremist groups act as if they were above the law without fear of repercussions. A mass of thanks was held in the Church of Our Lady of Carmel in the northern Hashimi in Amman for the blessing of monastic consecration for each of the sisters, Asil Hjazin and Sister Lin Halase. His Excellency Bishop appointed Jamal Khadr, Patriarchal Vicar for Latins in Jordan, presided over the Mass. And after the speech delivered by the parish priest, Father Farah Badr, in which he welcomed the two consecrated nuns, and in the attendees, Archbishop Khadr delivered a sermon in which he indicated that consecration is a reason for joy, and said, God is the one who deserves consecration. He is our joy and it is our pride and it is the true treasure that deserves our consecration. His Excellency addressed the two consecrated sisters saying, Your happiness lies in your living here, in the monastery, in the Heavenly Father's house. In conclusion, Bishop Khadr warned that being away from God is the reason for committing sins. His Eminence, Archbishop Christophorus, Metropolitan of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, presided over the service of the fourth praise of the Most Holy Mother of God from the Church of the Divine Ascension in Khalda, where His Eminence indicated in his homily that the woman enjoys an appreciable position from the position of the Virgin Mary and said, The message of the Church today is a prayer for the family, especially since we are in a time that seeks to break its foundation and its entity. He called on fathers and mothers to listen to their daughters and children as spiritual parents for them. Several priests and deacons participated in the service in the presence of parishioners. On the other hand, Archbishop Christophorus inaugurated in the hall of the Cathedral of the Annunciation on Abdali the program for those who are about to get married with the participation of several engaged couples and in the presence of the father Salim Danat, the official of the Christian family home and the social worker Samar Tadros. 
And after blessing the attendees, His Eminence addressed a word of guidance to the couples, offering them spiritual advice on the importance of participating in prayers and liturgical services, so that they could build a sound relationship with the Lord that would help them establish a solid house on a solid foundation and a spiritual guide. For her part, the guide, Samar, pointed out the importance of having a spiritual and psychological guide for the family to consult him when needed. As part of preparing to hold cultural lectures for all segments of society, the meeting center called on His Excellency Bishop William Shomali, Patriarchal Vicar in Jerusalem, to hold a meeting with a number of women about the Synod's march and its importance in order to build a new educational mentality in a reality where evils is rampant. His Eminence addressed during the meeting the clarification of the idea, objectives, and method of the Synod's work, the reason for calling Pope Francis to it, and its importance for the local and universal church. Then Bishop Shomali listened to the participants who expressed their opinions, ideas, and questions. The delegation of the Council of Heads Churches in Jordan, headed by Archbishop Christophorus, visited His Excellency Dr. Yusuf Shawarbe in his office in Amman Municipality Building, congratulating him on the occasion of renewing confidence in His Excellency as a Secretary of the Greater Amman Municipality and on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. In a blessed spiritual meeting, the two parishes of the Church of the Virgin in North Hashemi and St. Michael the Archangel Church met in North Marka. Coinciding with the celebrations of the Melkite Roman Catholic Church in a special Lenten liturgical service, where Father Jihad Ammari, priest of the two parishes, presided over the service of the praises of our Virgin Mother on the fourth Friday. Father Ammari delivered a sermon in which he expressed the extent of the Church's adherence to the traditions it inherited from the previous fathers. He talked about the date of the beginning of this prayer and how the Virgin Mary does not leave anyone who resorts to her and that our love for the Lord Jesus requires us to honor our Virgin Mother. After the liturgical celebration, everyone presented an auditory dinner to express Christian love and brotherhood in the time of the Holy Lent. In a series of pastoral meetings in Karak Governorate, the parishioners of St. George Church met in Adur in a spiritual meeting full of love, in the presence of a number of honorable fathers. During the meeting, the monk Silwan spoke in his distinctive style about the daily role of prayer and their arrangement during the Holy Forty Lent, reminding of the importance of fasting and prayer for the believer, which makes him live happily in his home with his children and his family. The meeting was followed by a group of spiritual competitions and a special loving table that the women of the parish participated in preparing. Coinciding with the Holy Lent, a spiritual exercise was launched at the Terra Santa College in Jericho for the employees of the Catholic schools in the Holy Land. The meeting called by the Office of Christian Education of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem brought together about 200 employees, including teachers, administrators, accountants and others, and a number of priests and nuns from different regions participated in it. The sport focused on the importance of fasting in the 40 days with a deep theological meeting with Father Johnny Bahbah and an interactive activity on the importance of prayer and the Bible with Father Louis Suleiman. Then Father Mario Hachiti presided over the Divine Liturgy, which was raised on the intention of all school workers. A ceremony was held in the Wahhabit Tamari Hall of the Orthodox Club. A ceremony of publicizing and signing the book, Biblical Data on Orthodox Theology, by economist Dr. Ibrahim Dabur. And the ceremony included a spiritual speech by Archbishop Christophorus in the presence of the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, Bishop appointed Jamal Khadr. The ceremony was attended by a large number of religious and official figures and a crowd of parishioners and those interested. His Beatitude Patriarch Raphael Sacco inaugurated the Chapel of Our Lady of Peace in the compound of the Church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary into Heaven in the Mansour district of Baghdad. His Beatitude was assisted in the Mass by a number of priests in the presence of a group of believers. Prayer was raised in the new chapel for the return of peace and good neighborliness between Russia and Ukraine and in order to hasten the formation of a government capable of reviving the country and providing services to the citizens. His beatitude stressed the importance of fasting for self-reflection and the consolidation of faith and commitment to Christian morals. After an absence of two years due to the corona pandemic, the Fuhais Festival will start on the 10th of next August. The new eight-day event will carry surprises at the level of artistic and cultural participation from Jordan and the Arab countries.
The opening ceremony will be attended by Arab cultural figures and symbols. The events also include the participation of bands and stars of music and singing from Jordan, Palestine, Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq. Arab stars will be guests of the festival and there will be a special event for children. Art exhibitions and a market for handicrafts and traditionalism will be held on the sidelines of the festival. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Patriarchs and heads of churches in the Holy Land condemn the takeover of the Petra Hotel by extremist groups. A mass of thanksgiving for the blessing of the monastic consecration of the two sisters, Asil Hjazin and Lin Halase. The Christian Education Office in Jerusalem organizes a spiritual exercise for school workers. His Beatitude Patriarch Raphael Sacco inaugurated the Chapel of Our Lady of Peace in Baghdad. For more information, please visit our website www.nusatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.